All right, hey friends, back again. This is for your quarantine workouts, right? Doesn't matter what the sport is. I'm creating these specifically for my soccer teams, but whatever sport you play, or just looking to stay busy or keep your kids busy um, throughout these next three to however many weeks of quarantine. Um, you know, these are, these are great, safe, easily modifiable and progressible workouts for you, the kids, your family to do, okay? So video one, I showed some shuttle runs. You should do shuttle runs with every workout. Um, you see that video for how I talk about progressing the time, all right? But here's today's workout, right? This is week, week one, day one of the quarantine, all right? Um, I keep joking with my husband. I feel a little bit like I am legend. Uh, we're not there. I'm actually pretty proud of how we're handling it, and I hope everybody's staying safe and taking it seriously. I digress. So all you need for this workout is a soccer ball. Um, my soccer players should all be doing your four, foot skills 30 minutes every day. Foot skills, this is, I'm using my hands. This workout, I'm going to be using my hands a lot. But it's just to get you around a soccer ball every day, okay? So foot skills is separate. This is part of conditioning. All right, so number one is your hollow hold. So the hollow hold never looks like it's very challenging. So if you're not feeling challenged doing the hollow hold, it's because you're doing it incorrectly. So make sure you really follow my prompts. So number one, my low back when I lay down here in a second, that's right here. I have to constantly press it into the ground. It's actively using my muscles, my stomach muscles, to push my low back into the ground. That is super, super important. All right, so number one, my low back is pushed into the ground. All right, we're gonna start with, if your feet are straight up in the air, you will not challenge yourself. Eventually, you wanna be you know, as far away as possible, but for right now, you start with your feet right above your hips, and then push them away, feet flexed, all right? We're gonna hold the ball straight up. So we're pushing the ball as hard as we can, push, 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 and we're pushing our feet, push, 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 all towards the ceiling. My low back, I'm pushing my low back into the ground. I'm pushing my feet and my hands with the ball into the sky. And now the last part of this, already my belly is shaking. The last part of it now is I'm gonna lift my shoulders off the ground. And the whole time I'm pushing my low back into the ground, push, 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 push. And I'm reaching for the sky with my toes in, in my hands. Reach, 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 reach. All right, and we do this for 30 seconds. Reach, 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 reach. You can see, if you zoom in, you can see my belly shaking. All right, number two. They're called, um, some people call them windshield wipers, but we're gonna do it with a soccer ball. All right, so you can also call them groin twists because we're working on a different part of our core. All right, so right here, I just put the soccer ball between my legs. I'll actually turn a little bit. Soccer ball between my legs. All right, and my knees start right above my hips. All right, and then they come away a little bit more. Again, my low back, I'm pushing it into the ground. And all I'm gonna do is rotate to the right and left. So kind of think of windshield wipers. And the last thing is you wanna make sure your hands are out in a T. Make sure you're breathing in through the nose, out through your mouth. All right, my low back this whole time stays on the ground. All right, so that's workout or exercise number two, windshield wipers or groin twists, whatever you want to call them. All right, and then the third one, you've all done it with me, and I'm sure everybody has done it if you haven't been with me in some capacity, but we're just going to use the soccer ball for a guide. In a push-up, yeah, you want to come down all the way, but right now for most of us, as we're just starting to build our strength, most of my soccer players are, we're U12, right, so we're at that, 10, 11 age group, right? So we're still building those upper bodies, but they're really important to build. So the soccer ball under your belly button is a great way to start to work your push-ups. So your push-ups, you want your wrists just outside your shoulders, so not super wide and not really close in, all right? So just outside your shoulders, and then you want your shoulders right over the line of your wrists, okay? So you're not leaning back like this, do it a push-up, you're not here doing a push-up, right here. And then yes, we're gonna come up onto our toes because again, we're not going all the way down, we're just touching the soccer ball. So up on our toes, all right? And you're gonna just push down and up. All 
All right, that's it. Very simple. Just pushing your, touching your belly button to the ball with proper push-up form. So how long should we do each of these? So week one, again, this is day one, week one of our quarantine break from sports. We're gonna start with 20 seconds for everything. So 20 second hollow hold, then do 20 second of the groin twists, and then do 20 seconds non-stop push-ups. You shouldn't need to modify the push-ups because you're only going as far down as the ball. Make sure your shoulders stay right above your wrists, okay? Then you're gonna do it again. Another 20 seconds of your hollow holds, another 20 seconds of your groin twists, and another 20 seconds of your push-ups. And then you're gonna do one more time. Another 20 seconds of your hollow holds, another 20 seconds of your groin twists, and another 20 seconds of your push-ups. Again, that's for that 9, 10, 11, 12 year old age range. Those of you who are a little bit older, you can start with 30 second sets, all right? And those of you who are younger than that U12 age group, you can start with 15 seconds, all right? Parents, players, you have questions, again, you can um, reach out to me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is, Rise Personal Training, all right? Whatever questions you have, hit me up. Keep visiting the YouTube page um, for more workouts throughout, throughout these next few weeks, all right? Remember, without a little bit of risk pushing yourself, progress can't be made. Let's capitalize on this time, push ourselves, outwork everybody else who's at home, and come back stronger in a few weeks, all right? Work hard.